This is the Medication Administration Accuracy Project, brought to you by the 10 ICC Quality and Safety Council. The Medication Administration Accuracy Project is a performance improvement project aimed to increase the reliability of nursing compliance with safe medication administration processes in order to reduce nursing medication administration errors. The organizational goal is to provide the best quality of care and improve patient safety by ensuring patients receive medications accurately. It is our goal to increase the staff's knowledge and compliance with the six medication administration processes by ensuring every RN has been observed and has been an observer at least once by June 1, 2011. In anticipation of APEX and barcoding rollout in October, this process will provide an opportunity for each nurse to formally cement the six processes in his or her practice. The observer nurse will be using the MAP observation tool. Here are the ground rules. 1. Observe an entire med pass beginning by watching medications being pulled. 2. The observer is only there to watch and document on the observer's tool. He is not to be a part of the process in any way. 3. Observers can only give feedback after the medication pass. However, they can stop the RN if they know that the med administration can harm the patient. Here are the six steps of medication administration. Step 1. Compares medication to MAR. Mark yes if the RN compares the drug package to the MAR after the drug is removed from its storage location. Step 2. No distractions or interruptions during medication preparation or administration. A distraction is any interruption that is not safety or procedure related. Jerry, can you help me turn a patient? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm giving medications and collecting them all right now. All right. A distraction depends on how an RN responds to an interruption. If the RN is giving insulin and needs a second RN check, it's not a distraction. It's part of the process. Hey Bonnie, can you check my insulin? Sure. My blood sugar was 154. Two units. If the RN is giving a med and another RN wants to be the second RN check, it's a distraction because it's not part of her process. Bonnie, can you check my insulin, please? Oh, David, I'm sorry. I'm giving my medications right now. Oh, okay. I think Jonathan looks like he's available over there. If the RN's phone rings and he ignores the phone call, that is not a distraction or interruption. Hi, Mr. V. I'm giving you your 1600 meds. So we've got your aspirin, 81 milligrams, uh, atorvastatin, 80 milligrams, Plavix, 75 milligrams. If another person attempts to talk to the RN and the response is, I'm in the middle of a med pass, please wait until I'm finished, that is also not considered a distraction. Mr. B, I'm going to give you your medications, okay? This David, you guys see this YouTube video, there's one of Bonnie. Uh, I'm in the middle of the med pass. I'll be right with you. Okay. It's Bonnie, though, and she's doing something okay. that you have got to see. Right in the middle of the med pass. It's a 1600 meds. Step 3. Medications are labeled throughout the process from preparation to administration. Medications cut or crushed in the med room must be accompanied by the original packaging when brought in the patient's room. Medications are not removed from original packaging until immediately before administration in the patient's room. Any dose removed from the original container must be labeled by the RN, such as IV bags or syringes. Step 4. Perform two patient identifiers. Mrs. Porter, I'm going to check your armband, all right, with your medication list. I'm going to look at your MR number, and that matches, and your last name, and your first name, and that matches with your medication list. Step 5. Explain medication to patient. Hey, Mrs. Porter, so I'm going to give you your Lasix right now, all right? Lasix is a medication that is a diuretic, so it's going to make you have to urinate a lot, all right? How is your pain right now? Do you have anything? Yeah. Where is it? Here. In your shoulder? Mm -hmm. In your left shoulder? Mm -hmm. 
what would you rate it on a scale of zero to ten? Zero being no pain, five moderate, ten severe pain, the worst pain you've ever had. Eight. About an eight. And what pain level is appropriate for you? What five. is tolerable? Five. Okay. So I have medication for you. It's Dilaudid. It's pain medication. So I'm going to give you this medicine, and then I'll check back with your pain level in about 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Step six. Chart medications immediately after administration. Chart medications after administration and before moving on to another task. Charting is not to be done in the med room just prior to administration, not at the beginning of the shift or at the end of the shift. 